All right, so now it's time to set up our course on our online course website. Let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you want to get good images for your website. So the website I use for relative free images is pexels.com. So you can see here they have beautiful images and all these are relative free. You can use these and uh, all you have to do is to give credits to those photographers that would have taken those photos. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the photos and to download the photo is quite straightforward. You just click on it and then over here on the top, you can just choose the size that you want. So I'm gonna go with this one here and then click on free download. So now that image is downloaded on my computer and I'm ready to go. So as I mentioned, I've already gone ahead and downloaded all these images and I'm ready to go. The next step now is to come over here to Tutor LMS, click on courses. And as you can see, I don't have any courses. So let's add our very first course. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. So let's call this course business mastery 101. Now over here, we want to give this course a description. So my text is going to come over here. There we go. All right. So the next step now is to scroll further down and this is where you get your course settings. So here we can choose how many students we want to have. So we can say maximum hundred students, but if you leave it at zero, it means that this is set to unlimited. So I'm going to leave that as unlimited. Next, we're going to come over here to the difficulty level. So here we can choose all levels, beginner, intermediate, and expert. So I'm going to set mine to all levels. Levels. Right. So this is now the course builder and this is where you can start creating your course. Okay. So I'm just going to skip this for now so I can go further down and show you what else we can add. So here we have course duration. You can leave this as it is. Now here we also have the benefits of the course. So this is where you can also add some text, which is highlights the benefits of the actual course. Okay. So I'm just going to add some text here as well. And then here you can add your requirements. You can also add your targeted audience and also materials. And then over here is where you can add your video. Now this is for this actual course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my video over here. So let's head over here to YouTube and I am going to choose one of my videos here. Copy the shareable link back over here. I am going to uh, paste my video like that. But if you want to use Vimeo, you can click here on this drop down and you can choose Vimeo. If you want to use embedded, you can also do that. But I highly recommend that to use either YouTube or Vimeo or any other video host platform. If you add your video directly onto your website, this is going to slow down your website. Okay. So now that we've added our course intro video, the next step now is to head over back and let's start adding our topic. So I'm going to click here on add new topic. And here is where I'm going to add my module one. So you can also add your topic summary if you need to do that. So I'm going to add a bit of text and then I'm going to go ahead and click on add topic. Okay. So now that I've added module one, I can also go ahead and add the next module. And this is going to be module two, add topic. So now you can see here we have module one and module two. So in those modules, we also need to add some lessons. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on module one and you can see right away. I have this plus button to add my lesson. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I'm going to say this is my lesson one getting started. Next, I'm going to add some text here and I can also add a feature image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go with this image here, use this media. And for my video source, you can see here, this is a YouTube by default, but I can choose whatever I want just like before. But you know what? I'm going to add a video URL for my YouTube channel. So I'm going to come over here, copy my link, and then I'm going to paste it in here just like that. Great. If you have any attachments, you can also add your attachments here. But for this lesson, I don't have any attachments. So I'm going to say update lesson and lesson one has been updated. You can just continue doing that, add lesson two, lesson three, and so on. And then for module two, you can also do the same. So let's add one more here. So here I've added my title. What is a business? I'm also going to add my text in here, upload my feature image, use this media, and I'm also going to add a video. So I'm going to paste it in here, update lesson. Great. So now we have two lessons for module one, right? So over here now, let's take a look and see what we can do. So I'm going to come back over here to this course tab right here at the top. And here we can also do a few things. First of all, we're going to hit publish to publish the course. And then over here, I need to add a featured image for my course. So I'm going to click here, choose my image. I'm going to go with this one right here, set featured image. So that's looking great. So over here, I'm also going to add an except. So I'm going to paste it like that. And pretty much I'm happy with what I've done. All right. So now let's take a look and see what this course looks like. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And now you can see all the details that we've just added on our site. So here we have our business mastery 101. We also have our 
introductory preview course here. And this could also work as a sales video. So you can decide what you want to do with this video. Anyway, moving forward, we have about the course, we have the description. And then here it also talks about what you will learn. But the most important part here is where all these topics are. And here's our module one. You can collapse it like that. So over here, we can uh, go ahead and click on getting started. And this is now going to take us into the actual lesson where we can get started. So when I click here, you notice that uh, the video starts playing right away. And that is pretty cool. And then over here, we also have a question and answer section where you can ask a question and the instructor will be able to respond to your questions. OK, and then you can also collapse this. And now you have just the main video showing on this player. And this is also pretty cool. Once you're done, you can just click here on complete lesson and this will take you now to the next lesson. All right. And you also have a little cool check mark here to say that you've done it. All right. So back over the, on the lesson list here, this is where we have our list of lessons. And then if I click here on uh, home, this is going to take us back to this page here. So pretty much this is how you set up your first course on your online course website. It's really straightforward. Now in the next videos, I am going to be showing you how to uh, connect this with WooCommerce and make it easier for you to charge for your courses coming up.